Hi, my name is Cal Tashiro and I'm Sales Operations Manager over at Solid. Um, today we're going to go through the N2 ROU 2500 full band upgrade. Uh, first thing you want to start off with is you want to plug in with your Solid GUI and make sure that everything is up to date for firmware. The head end upgrade procedure is hot swappable. The N2 ROU upgrade procedure needs to be done with the power off. Next, you'll go over to the head end and physically swap any modules required for the upgrade. Um, we'll start with the optical module, the IOM4. You're gonna wanna unscrew the two screw-ins here and pull straight out. And when replacing the optical module, you're gonna wanna utilize the guide rails on the right-hand side. You're gonna push all the way back and screw down the two screws. Next, you have the IMDBU 2325 and we'll be swapping that out with the IMDBU 2325 100. Now we're gonna start with taking off the top and bottom screw and lifting the ejector, and pulling straight out. And when replacing this module, you're gonna to wanna to utilize the guide rails on the left-hand side. Okay, push that all the way back and press the ejector in. Screw your top and bottom screws down. All right, so our next step is gonna be over at the remote. You're gonna to need to unscrew you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws on the outside here. You're going to pop the latch and open up the door. As you see here, we have our two up, or 2500 amplifier already in there. We're going to pop off the RX and TX cables as well as the power cable and your cable connecting to the multiplexer. All right, so once we remove the cables, we're gonna wanna loosen up all six screws holding this amplifier in. When you get to your last screw, you're going to want to make sure that you hold the amplifier towards the door as it will fall forward. Okay, once we got it loosened, we'll be able to take that out. So we're going to replace it with a 2500 full band module. You'll be able to reuse the cables that are currently in there, but you will have to swap out the screws that come with this full band module. Okay. Hold it there. Screw in our six screws. Tighten it down. When reconnecting the cables, we're going to take the TX bypass cable and connect it to the TX in port on the amplifier. We're going to do the same here with the RX bypass cable and connect it to the RX out port of the amplifier. And we're going to take RDU number five's power cable and connect it to the power port on this amplifier. And last, we're going to take the multiplexer cable that's connected to the 2500 port on the multiplexer to the MUX TXRX port of the amplifier. Once you have your cables attached, you can go ahead and close the door. 
screw in your screws around the perimeter and latch your remote and go ahead and turn the power back on. Uh, if you do have any issues while doing the 2500 full band upgrade, go ahead and reach out to us at support at solid.com. This concludes our procedure. Thank you.